Looking at the beach now, it's hard to believe the normally turquoise green ocean was red with blood. 38-year-old kite boarder Stephen Schaefer screaming in pain. Probably with about 20 yards or so from him. I know there's a lot of blood in the water. He, the one thing he did, he said that he was been bitten by a shark. That's the scene Lund came upon as he paddled on his rescue board out into the water to check on Schaefer because he appeared to be in trouble. He was kind of draped over the, the, uh, the, the kite itself and it was drifting. It was making the effort to try and, you know, come in. Once on the beach, paramedics performed CPR on Schaefer, but he died at a hospital a short time later. Authorities are investigating what types of sharks were involved and whether multiple sharks bit Schaefer. Lund says he could see the shadows of perhaps two or three circling sharks. Because there's so much blood and then, you know, you're concerned about, okay, this is, is this not going to, you know, cue them into some sort of, you know, frenzy. Authorities say Schaefer had a 10-inch gash in his right thigh and numerous teeth marks on his buttocks. Also, his right hand was mauled in an apparent attempt to fight off the animal or animals. Beaches were open Thursday, but beachgoers were on edge. I'm pretty disturbed a little bit because I got kids that come to the beach when I'm not around without parental supervision, and I don't know how far they go up. Shark attacks, especially fatal ones, are extremely rare, says one expert, and this would be the first one in Florida in five years. Washington, the Associated Press.